You might think that golf tees are all the same and that they are all equal. And to some extent, you're partly right. But in this video, I'm going to show you actually you're wrong. And I was wrong as well. I thought they were going to be all the same. But after having tested quite a few different tee pegs, there is one clear winner. You won't believe it until you see it. And I get that. But please trust me, it has led me to make another video and test the one tee that I found to be better than all the rest. It's weird. Maybe it's a placebo, maybe it's not, but I think there's something in it. So you have to see it. These are the top rated tees from Amazon. And I thought, why are there so many tees? There must be something in this. So I've bought a selection of them. We're going to try them. They're very tall tees, I'll say that. And we're going to see at the end which one's going to be victorious and which one is the best tee on amazon.com or .co.uk or .us or wherever you are in the world. We're going to start off with this lovely green tea, which has already taken a bit of a battering by the looks of it. Green tea, focus. There we go. Green tea. Let me know in the comments what kind of tea do you use with your driver? Do you use really high ones? Is there a specific one that you use? Always interested to find out this stuff. Oh, it's gone straight to start. Okay, that's uh, that's me done. I'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Three twenty off the bat. Lovely. Okay. Oh, Danny has picked it up. That was a good strike as well. Am I? We shall never know. Bad. A bit left this time. There's no way I was getting that twice in a row, but all right. Oh, it's not picked it up again. How annoying. Must have the T too high or something. I knew that wasn't going to be as good. Left, left, going left, but it was all right. Faster at least, 110. Oh, it's gone 322. 166. So yeah, it's getting the ball speed. That's good. Right, I'm going to leave that. Oh, it's going to take me ages to get through these. So that was all right. That was all right. It was all right. I think the interesting numbers here are going to be the launch and things like that. Obviously, me going left and right. It's going to be a bit variable, isn't it? Okay, we're going to go for this blue platform T, I'm calling it. You can see it's kind of looks like. Focus. It's going to focus. There we go. You can see it kind of looks like a, a little mini rocket. In fact, I think it might even be called a rocket, potentially. Oh, God, it nearly hit me in the head. Oh, I like that hit, though. Where did the ball go? The ball's gone over there somewhere. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, this is what I'm worried about now. I'm getting faster now. 111. I started at 107. Where did the T go? Oh, God! I don't know what's going on. Oh, that might be my best strike yet. A little bit out of the heel, maybe. But that was really nice. God, it's so hard to see this blue T down here. Right, so that was the blue rockety one. Done. Right, we'll go with the giant castle now. This thing. Crikey. See that? Yeah. Weird thing. Here we go. Wowzers. I thought that was going to go left. That felt really left, but... Huh. Wowzers. Oh, I didn't feel good. That was two swings that didn't feel great, but it's gone okay. Not gone as well as the last one, but let's do one more. Oh, that was horrible. That was horrible. No, I thought I saw the T there. Where did it go? Anyone see the T? Oh, I've lost it. Kind of went catapulting off. 
This way, I thought. Oh, there he is, somehow he's under there. Right, just a, I'm not going to do a close up of this, standard white tea. Okay. That was a good strike. Kind of normal swing speed for me. Oh, that's not a good shot. Oh, it's all right, I suppose. Oh, I don't think it was... It's not picked it up. Oh, dear me. Bit of a leak. Not too bad, though. Okay, last one is, um, I call it an arrow tee because it's literally got an arrow on it. These are all... Here we go, check that out. See that? Yeah. Okay, so they're all legal. They're all fine to use. It's got an arrow on it, and the idea is that you aim it the way you want it to go. And maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. I've lost my ball. There it is. Ooh, that was weird. I kind of went, ooh. Okay. Not bad. Where did the peg go, though? Oh, that's horrible. Sort of got away with that. But that was not great strike. Right out the heel. All right, though, isn't it? Oh, that's Terry. Oh dear. But good. That was okay. Oh, there we go. That was out the middle. I was at the middle, but a bit bottomy, I would say. Okay. That was really nice. A couple of really centred, sort of centred strikes anyway. If you have a look at that. You go focus on that. Yeah, look at that. Well, <laughs> those two were okay-ish. Not so much those ones. I quite like that. I, I will say, I quite like that. It had, it's going to sound like stupid, people won't believe me, but it actually felt different when you hit it. Oh, maybe there is something with that. Maybe it's because I was, I don't know, hitting the back of the tee now, that doesn't make sense. I don't know, but I did like that. That was good. So let's take a look at the numbers. What can we tell about this? There's a lot of numbers and a lot of tee pegs to look at. Let's look at dispersion for what it's worth. Like, I feel like I hit actually quite a few good drives there and a few dodgy ones. I've not deleted any out of this this time. I do sometimes delete some that are really bad, but I didn't feel like any of them were truly horrendous. They all kind of carried the same distance, roughly. Uh, there are a few left and right, but I wasn't too bothered. A lot of them did go pretty straight, which is a nice change. I must be doing something right. I guess, what are we looking at here? Actually, the, the wooden tee had the best dispersion and the best ball speed. It launched a bit lower, the wooden tee, but then to be fair, I snapped it off a little bit too low, so it's probably pegged down a little bit, which is interesting. Um, the spin was in a good window-ish, really. Uh, to be fair, it's quite consistent, the most consistent. Um, and in terms of carry, on average, it, it's carried the furthest, so maybe that's the one that we want is just a good old wooden tee because you can kind of stick it in as much as well all of these you can stick in as much as you want but they're probably the cheapest they're best for the environment as well let's just look at the other numbers as well the ball speeds are all pretty much the same aren't they like if you look at the the variation there um i think kind of the, the highest speed potentially was with the giant castle i didn't kind of look at every single one um but i do remember seeing a 166 in there um also the arrow t i think there was a couple of, of higher ones of that i did really like the arrow one um it it definitely felt like it launched it higher 
and you can see that in the launch it did launch one of the highest on average only really beaten by that green tea and the green tea was super high in terms of the carry um all the carries are pretty much there really i think what we'll do is we'll just look at all of the shots and see which ones come out the best and look at that but the green tea just because of the probably the strike location of my swing a little bit the, the spin was a bit lower so it was carrying the same pretty much as the rest of them but just rolling out that much further so there is an argument for the green tea potentially the green tea just to remind you being this one I don't know if you can see that the green tea that one um i think for me on the feel and i just it's probably a placebo just having that arrow there i really like that lining it up sounds like such a beginner thing to say but i did really like that i really didn't like the mega castle one that was kind of weird looking to me so let's just look at the individual shots quickly so bear with me on this because we've got some other stuff from other videos i'm making at the moment the highest ball speed we've got that arrow t had a 166 we had anything better than that we had a one yeah i thought the giant castle had a 166.8 Oh, we had a 167 from the blue platform. Which one was that? Oh, yeah, this one I kept losing. The blue platform one. That had a 167 ball speed. But I wonder why it didn't go further. Descent angle was a bit steep. Launched, uh, launched way too high. There we go. So we had a 167 with that. So the, uh, yeah, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What was the longest shot? So we had a 322 with the green tee, which launched really nice, came down nice and flat, so that's why it rolled out so much. 322, oh, the giant castle, yeah, that 336, that's pretty huge, isn't it? The giant castle gave us a 336, and then we had a 325 with the arrow one. The arrow one I seemed to deliver more spin. Strangely, I mean, you could argue that's my swing, but seemed to deliver a bit more spin um, on a couple of those shots, which meant keeping it more straight, I suppose. There we go. After all that, can I conclusively say that one of these is better than the other? Out of all this lot, not really. Not with any kind of scientific evidence. And with my swing, I'm not a robot. There's variance in it too. Um, but I think from that little bit of testing, I do like this arrow tee. And I did also like the green tee too. I did like that. I didn't like the other one so much. Which is the best Amazon tee? For me, I'm going to go with this one. They're quite expensive. Again, I'll put all the, the numbers up, but there we go. That's my pick. <laughs>